Trump. So this video is going to be about Wichita State University disinviting Ivanka Trump from his graduation from her to speak. Why did they have her in the first place? I mean, yeah, she's the daughter of Donald Trump, but why? What has she done? What is significant about her? Besides some clothing line or something, what is significant? These schools and these people are cracking me up because it's like they just waking up that Trump's been spewing hateful speech. And I know she can't be that dense to not know that her dad's words echo a lot of like a Hitler type of agenda. Been very divisive. What school would want anything associated with Trump? What anybody or any rational being would want anything? Because they have to know it's very divisive. A lot of times when things are done systematically, people tend to look the other way as long as the money's good. Tells me something. Were it not for George Floyd, would people really be concerned? What would they be? You know, what would they say? What would it what would it matter? Um, you know, it's a very interesting perspective about stuff, you know, about how this all plays and all comes into views. But I can't imagine any college that's worth their the weight and salt and saying would want her to give a speech on anything. She'd be considered a problem more than anything. And there's no no resolve there. You know, she'd have to pretty much disown her father and his agenda, which she won't do. She'd also have to acknowledge white privilege, which she won't do. But the school to disinvite her says, well, okay, we're going to do this. Now, when you disinvite somebody, you better have just for reasons and cause. Do they have just for reasons and cause? Yes, they do. Should it have always been that way? Yes, it should have been. It should never, They never should have been invited in the first place. But like I said before, there are some people that are just now, like they just discovered black people here in this country after 400 plus years. These last two weeks with George Floyd got them talking, got them thinking that maybe I need to look at things a little bit differently. Maybe we're not living the way we should. Very telling. And it's always a proof that better late than never. You know. Anyway, that's my thoughts and takes about Wichita State. University disinviting Ivanka Trump, the racial rhetoric of her daddy is bad to backfire, and they don't want her to be a part of their school. Hit that like and subscribe. Let's discuss it. When the bell rings a new video, wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And who says it's ever too late for changes to occur? Because they can still happen. I'm out.